Well, good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with Yorksville First, Pleasant Grove, and Tippecanoe United Methodist Church. And today I have a devotional to share with you out of Isaiah, and it's Isaiah 42, verse 8. And it says, I am the Lord, that is my name. I will not give my glory to any other, nor shall I share my praises with carved idols. What a powerful message from the Lord. And he's telling Isaiah, he says, I'm the Lord. I am, that is my name. There is no other God. There is no other Savior. There is no other who deserves worship. In fact, he's saying that he refuses to share his glory with anyone else. God will not, I repeat, God will not share his glory with anyone else. That's why, you know, James says the spirit that God has put within us is filled with envy. Because when, when we accept God, God wants all of us. He doesn't want there to be any competing interests in our heart. In fact, John in 1 John tells us that anything that takes the place of God in our heart is an idol. And God cannot share his glory with an idol. And so if you are to serve God, then you must serve God wholeheartedly. Then you cannot have idols. Then you cannot give I, these idols, the things that belong to God, God will not share his glory. And you might say, well, that seems unreasonable. Or uh, as I've often heard, well, God seems so filled with pride and he gets angry. In fact, I've heard people who are willing to say, God, there's a temper tantrum if you don't give him the attention he, he needs. But what you don't understand when you say things like that is that God doesn't need our attention. God doesn't need us. But he wants us. And so because he is a high and lofty God, because he is a holy God, he says, if you want to follow me, he says, if you want to be my people, if you want me to be your God, he says, and that's your choice. But he says, understand what you're choosing, because to choose God is often to forsake all else. We need to have put God first in our lives because he refuses to share his glory with anyone else. He refuses to. To have anyone else share what belongs to God. And so if you've accepted God, which is your choice, then you belong to God. And God will not share you with anyone else. God will not share you. He will not handle you having idols in your life. You cannot serve God if you have idols in your life. Now you might try to balance both. You might try to serve the world and serve God. But I promise you, if you're doing that, then you are only serving the world. And so my message for you today is to surrender all to the Lord, to give him the glory due his name, and to understand he will not share his glory with anyone else. Amen.